Hey guys, and welcome to another Take Inter tutorial here on the Coders Legacy channel. In this video, we'll take a look at the Take Inter Label Frame widget. It's a pretty interesting widget, and somehow I missed it in my previous Take Inter series, so we're doing it now. It's basically, as the name implies, a label and a frame. It's a combination of these two. And it's actually kind of interesting, because initially I thought it would just be a frame with a slight tweak, which it kind of is, but it actually has some interesting properties that do make it quite distinctive from your typical frame. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. All right, so let's go ahead and create the label frame. Okay, label frame, tk.label frame, keep a capital on the L and the F, okay? And the first parameter is text, okay? Text is, well, let's just say that the label frame in its default state is a frame that has a label on the border, okay? A label meaning some text. So this text is, uh, the string that we pass into this option is gonna be the label that appears on the border, the border of the label frame, all right? It'll make sense when you see it. For now, we'll just call it label frame. And then we'll pack this in. Okay, great. Now, this is our current code. But if I run this, you'll notice that there is no output, okay? And the reason for that is because the label frame is a container widget, okay? And it's meant to be something you put widgets into. It's not meant to exist as a standalone widget, all right? So we need to put something in here. So I'm gonna create some radio buttons over here and then we'll hopefully see some good output. So the parent for the, for the radio buttons will be the label frame and text can be something generic like option one. And there's some other parameters, but we'll take a look at that later, okay? And pack them in. All right. Let's duplicate this real quick. Uh, hold on, silly me, all right. There we go. Just change the text on them and let's run it. Okay, what's wrong? Oh, okay. I always make this mistake, but the B is not capital. Here we go. There is our label frame. There's that label that I talked about. Okay, you can clearly see the label over there. And here are three ready buttons. They don't work properly. And well, this is actually part of the ready button tutorial, but I'll go ahead and mention it. You need to create this uh, over here into war then you need to assign that here, okay? Give each one of them a unique value. And, and there we go, three, two, and one. All right. There we go, now it works, okay? That's our base label frame, okay? This is what it looks like in the default state. It's pretty handy and uh, nice because as you can see, it looks better than a normal frame, right? It has this nice boundary around it and it has a nice, nice descriptive text label over there. But of course, we can do more interesting things with this. This is just the beginning. So let's go ahead and get right into that. All right, so before we move on, I just want to make a few adjustments to make things a bit more readable, okay? Just take this because it looks like a big mess right now. And this, and there we go. All right, much, much better. Now, what I wanna show you is some extra options that we can use with label frame, okay? The first one being label anchor. Label anchor controls where the label appears on the border, okay? Currently it appears on the top left, okay? But you can actually change this using label anchor. It takes options like W for west, or east or south, okay, or north, N for north, S for south, so on. And you can also do cool stuff like NE, north, east, or you could do EN, east, north. Now that's a bit confusing, so I came up with this uh, little diagram over here. So you can take a look over here and use it as a reference, okay? It's also on my website, by the way, so you can take a look over there. You can find the full code for this available there for download, all right? And yeah, you can find some extra material there too, you know, list of options and so on, all right? Anyway, so that's what label anchor is. Let's just take a look at what it does. All right, let's just change this to south. 
there we go there it is okay it's now at the bottom and you know what i'm just gonna increase the padding right here just so we can see it a bit better there okay so yeah now and just where's the label frame padding packing all right now i'm going to make it southeast let's see what happens all right there you go see it's in the southeast position and i could change this to east as well and there you go see pretty cool right and this is what makes it interesting and there's actually one more very interesting option that it has it's called label widget label widget actually changes the widget that appears on the label frame which is actually pretty interesting it doesn't have to be a label okay because that's what's currently there there's a label there displaying some text but for example it could be a button it could be a radio button it could be a check button it could be i don't know like try it out i guess but let me just show you what happens if we change this to a button okay i'm just going to create a button right here master text is equal to button okay and button dot pack pad x is equal to five pad y is equal to five and just pass in the name of the button okay we called it button so we just pass in button here and watch the magic there we go there's our working button this isn't just for show okay it actually works if we if we actually go and bind it to a function but the point is this is actually pretty interesting and i think that you can come up with some creative uses for your, for your gui application with this just the one last option we'll take a look at is relief okay and by default i believe this is groove i think i can't remember it's on my website you can go check it out I, I can't remember right now but there are some options groove there's raised there's ridged let's just check them out okay let's try raised right now okay that's raised you see it kind of raises the entire thing it looks nice to me honestly i think it's my favorite up here honestly the others are a bit interesting as well ridge it creates this uh nice 3d kind of look honestly to the border i like the, i like what it does to the border yeah what else is there there's groove i'm not sure what this will do i guess this was the default option or was it not i think that it actually makes the border seem a bit sunken in i think not sure then there's flat what does flat do oh yeah flat just makes it you know flattens it against the screen it, like removes the border all right then what else is there there's um sunken i think again a full list of all these options and all their different possibilities that's all on the website okay you can go check that out but sunken yeah it kind of sinks the whole thing in okay it gives it a kind of cool look so yeah so if you want to use this option go ahead it makes it look better and add some visual appeal to it as well all right and with this we're pretty much done there are a few other options as well that you can take a look at again we're not covering every single option here all right i just, i've just hoped to have given you uh, a good outlook on label frame and what it is and how you can use it and i hope i succeeded in doing that so i hope you guys subscribe to the channel and leave a like leave us comments let me know if there's something you want me to make a video on okay because we make a lot of take in your content here all right otherwise i'll see you guys in a later video